Islamic State militants in Iraq are continuing their campaign to destroy any evidence of Christianity in that country. New satellite images show the Islamic army demolished one of the oldest monasteries in the world in 2014. Heather Sells has the latest. During the summer of 2014, it took only a few weeks for the Islamic State to literally pulverize the stone in this centuries old monastery. There's nothing left. Small piles of rocks, perhaps, but nothing that would look like the monastery. Before its destruction, St. Elijah's Monastery stood on a hill above Mosul. Although the roof was largely missing, it had 26 distinct rooms, including a sanctuary and a chapel. Exiled Mosul priest Paul Habib says the destruction is part of a systematic campaign to expel Christians from Iraq. Our Christian history in Mosul is being barbarically leveled. Already, the Islamic State has destroyed more than 100 religious and historic sites as it has taken control of parts of Syria and Iraq. Ironically, its destruction of St. Elijah's comes after a recent preservation effort. When the U.S. Army took control of the site in 2003, a military chaplain recognized its significance. They are very um, non-renewable resources. Once they're gone, they're gone forever. And while you can reconstruct a building, um, it, it loses its historic fabric. Many had wondered about the fate of the monastery after ISIS swept through Mosul in June of 2014. The new imagery shows the destruction took place just two months later. The Assyrian Christian monk Saint Elijah built the monastery between 582 and 590 AC. Heather Sells, CBN News.